Welcome, ladies, to A Fashion Decor and Food. I'm your host, the one and only Kiana Devine. And on this channel, we talk about the things that girls like to talk about, the most important things in life. Duh, fashion, decor, and food, darling. So if you like that type of content, you enjoy feminine videos about fashion, decor, and food, darling, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. In this video today, we are going to be talking about daily feminine habits. I was checking out a few videos myself and I wanted to put myself to the test to see if I am tapping into my feminine energy or am I tapping into my masculine energy? Now, either way, I was going to be okay with myself because, you know, she loves her. But my goal over the years has been to step away from my masculine energy and cross over to my feminine energy. See, growing up, I was a boss. I was a go-getter. I like control. And some of those aspects I still do have. However, I have learned to tone it down, relax a little bit, and because I have a husband, allow him to play the masculine role. And I have been enjoying stepping into that. So today, I want to bring you feminine daily habits that I have. And I want you to take notes to see if you fall into the same line of the category. And if you have anything to add to this list, drop in the comment section below and let me know what your daily feminine habits are because I'm always down to learn something. I even wrote a few on the back of my paper that I do not do and I do not tap into that I would pretty much like to do. This channel is based around femininity, the things that girls like, fashion, decor, and food. And what better discussion for us to have than some daily feminine habits. So let's go. <laughs> so these are in no particular order. And these are things that I do on a daily basis that I didn't used to do in my past life that I do now. And it helps me feel feminine. Number one, I light a candle. Sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three. But lighting candles really makes me feel feminine because I like the smell of a candle. From going to room to room, smell is very important to me. My senses are like on it. So if I go from room to room and I'm either able to smell like the plug-in that I have, that's very feminine. Or the candle that I lit a few hours ago, it makes me feel good. It makes me smile. And it reminds me that I am a woman. And this is what we get to do. Number two, I wake up early. And not that this is feminine or masculine, but waking up early on my own shows that I have discipline, that this is not like a new thing for me, that this is a lifestyle as well as it gives me a head start before anyone else in my home wakes up so that I can speak peace over my home, so that I can speak uh, happiness over my home. I think that that's a very feminine thing. I don't think that the average man speaks peace on, over his home. If he's a Christian man and he prays, of course, that's a part of his prayer. But waking up to speak peace over relationships over the that are in the home, it seems like a feminine quality. So I pride myself in doing that. In addition to that, I do have a morning ritual. This is a part of my morning ritual. So I think that that is a wonderful feminine quality to have. It's like our right to be able to bring that energy into our home. Okay, number three, I tend to my plants. 
I know there are a lot of male plant lovers, but when I think of plants, I automatically think of women. I think of nurturers. I think of bringing life, sustaining life. And so I'm able to go around and stick my finger in the dirt of my plants to see if it's moist, to spray my plants, probably maybe even wipe them off, pick the dead leaves off, and pretty much, you know, do a quick, quick maintenance of my plants on a daily basis. Okay, the next thing, number four, is I do apply lipstick. Ladies, I do walk around with a red lip every day. I do walk around with a red lip every day. It makes my smile brighter. I'm camera ready when I have it on, and it just makes me feel good. It adds that pop of femininity. It's like, na 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 boo boo, you're a man. You can't walk around with red lipstick on every day, all day. So I really like that. Another thing is I wear lashes. Now, this is not something that I've always done because it hasn't always been like as big of a trend as it is now, but now I feel naked without them. I like them shorter and thicker, very bold, not too long, uh, but honey, I'll get them how I can get them. You guys know I run hair companies and if I'm trying new products, Hair companies do send lashes. And if I'm down to the bottom, I will go ahead and play in some of those wink wink least expensive lashes. It's better than not having any lashes at all. What do you think? Do you resonate with any of the things that I've said so far? Is it something that you do on a regular basis? Now, I do not apply lashes every day. I use hair glue to apply my lashes so my lashes last me for quite some time okay so i'm not up here you know doing all this work every day no i try to do things that allow me to sustain but i do have lashes on every day okay next number six i put on a wig i am a wig girl and i feel like long hair which i do not have when god was passing out hair i went to the restroom honey so next, I love robes. Robes keep me feeling sexy. Now, this is something that I've only picked up in the last couple of years of my life, but I do enjoy wearing robes around the house. I feel like it brings a softness, feminine, and then you have like the patterns, the feminine patterns. I really, really do like that. And I walk around with slippers as well as often as I possibly can, honey. Um, and my husband implemented that part in my life because I was a, a walk, you know, barefoot type of chick. And he was like, no, this is how you do it. And, and it grew on me. And here we are. I love wearing slippers, you know, when I can find them. <laughs> okay, next. Cleaning and fixing areas in my house. I feel like this is a feminine thing to do because guys are messy and they don't care if the couch pillows are fixed, but I do. I care if the couch pillows are fixed because this is presentation. I care if there's mud on the floor from the dogs because that's presentation. I care if there's stuff all over the counters because that's presentation. So I find myself fixing areas every day and it helps to uh, prevent a huge mess in my home. And I feel like that's a very feminine quality to have. Next on my list is fragrance. Even though I am a homebody, I wear a different fragrance every single day. Whether it's a fragrance oil, whether it is a, a, like a store brand, fragrance that didn't cost a lot of money, or if it's one of the higher end fragrances. It doesn't matter to me. I wear a fragrance. I enjoy wearing fragrances throughout the house. I like smelling myself and in hopes that I will get a compliment from my husband that I smell good as well. The next thing that I do every day is I bathe. I take baths. I take a bath almost every single day, which means I run the tub. I put all my good spices and Epsom salts and oils in the tub every day. And I sit with myself and I bathe after the water gets cold and I'm ready to get out. I take time to relax. This is what keeps me in my feminine. Being able to take baths 
is a very large part of my feminine journey. I can't really explain what a bath does to you, but it makes you feel sexy, like a lady, like you're worth it. Uh, you actually have to carve out time for yourself in order to bathe every day. It's easy to get sucked up into life and just take a shower every day, but you have to go the extra mile for yourself in order to prepare a luxury bath experience for yourself. So I feel like that is very feminine. The next thing that I do every day is I plate my food in a lavish way. I like to use beautiful plates and I plate my food. If it's runny and something messy, I put it in a little bitty cute glass bowl and I put that on my plate. I make my plate look restaurant style, five star restaurant style. It doesn't matter what I'm eating. I feel like that is a feminine thing to do. And my husband always compliments me. Oh, yours looks so good. Thank you. You keep doing things how you want to do them. And I'm going to do things how I want to do them. And that is a feminine way. So very nice and neat, high vibrational plates. No low vibrational plates around here. Okay. The next thing is posture. Even right now, I have a chair. I have not touched the back of the chair yet. I sit up. Now, because I am a big booby girl, this does take a toll on my back. But I refuse to let my posture go. I feel like sitting up straight is great practice for confidence as well as the way you present yourself. If I seen a lady sitting in a chair, first of all, my behind is big. So my behind is touching the back of the chair, okay? And so like, I've just been, I've practiced sitting up for so many years that it does not affect me. I would feel like I'm slouching and like, I would feel like a loser if I was slouching back on the chair. That goes along with the next feminine thing that I naturally do every single day, which is cross my legs. Now, this has gotten out of hand to the point that I'm sitting at my desk working and my legs are crossed and I sit for hours. So that is not good. That is not a good thing. But if I'm sitting anywhere, automatically these legs are going to cross. You're never going to be able to see my goodies. Okay? Never, never. And I feel like that is a feminine lady habit to have to always cross your legs i've been around some women who are even older than me and because of the lifestyle that they have and they are comfortable with themselves they have their legs wide open you know like they sit with their legs open whether they have athleisure on or uh or or jeans and for me, I was just raised to keep your legs closed. No one should be able to tell what the print of your vagina looks like. Okay, so there you go. The next thing I do that I consider a very feminine thing is cook every day or prepare a meal. Whether it's meal prep or whatever, prepare a meal and present the meal. I feel like that is a very feminine aspect to do on a daily basis uh, because historically that's what women have done. So it leans more towards feminine. However, I am not against and what I call it feminine if a man is preparing a meal. But when my husband prepares a meal for me, it's totally different, a whole different style than when I would prepare a meal for him. When I prepare the meal for him, everything has to be organized and nice and neat and the kitchen is clean when I'm done and it's not a whole hot mess. Well, he and we both eat at the same time. Both plates are prepared and ready at the same time. My husband is a masculine man. And when he prepares meals for me, he brings them to the living room because I'm probably somewhere watching TV or something like that. He doesn't bring his plate with my plate and they're still messily left behind. And he's trying to keep it all together. So that is a masculine way. And I wouldn't pressure him to do it no other kind of way. You know, that is a masculine way of preparing a meal and cooking. And then you have the feminine way of preparing a meal and cooking. So that's just two ways to think about it. The next thing that is one of my daily feminine habits is that I relax. 
and I take it easy. I relax and I take it easy. I'm not so high strung. I don't feel like there's a lot of pressure on me. And I feel like pressure is a masculine aspect, a masculine trait, a masculine thing to have to deal with. Um, and not all times as women are we able to relinquish that to the masculine energy. I mean, to a man. Sometimes we have to take that on ourselves. But right now in my life, the way that I'm living it is I believe that what was once difficult is now easy. So I give myself permission to, you know, take it easy and to do everything with ease as much as I possibly can. Okay. So the next thing is I make honey-do lists. See, back in the day when I was a little younger, I would just do it and get it over with. Now that I'm a little older, I'm not doing it and getting it over with because I feel like everybody has a role to play. And because I am married, I feel like there are, I believe in gender roles. There are masculine things and then there are feminine things and, 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 or there are things that he's better at and things that I'm better at. So back in the day, I would just do it and get it over with. These days, I'll make a list, leave it so that he could see it. I don't even have to say anything, but, oh, I have a list for you. And it's not just, oh, I need you to do this. Oh, I need you to do this. Oh, I need you to do this. Can you do this? I'm not running behind nobody asking them, can they do nothing? No, I'm going to collect my thoughts all on one paper and present it to you and let you know if you have any questions about anything, please let me know because I'm not your mama. Mm -mm. So those are my daily feminine habits, things that I naturally do throughout the day in order to tap into my feminine energy or that allow me to know that I'm tapping into my feminine energy, okay? If I'm not doing these things, then something is a bit off. Now, what I want this video to do is to encourage you to take up some small things. If you don't do everything on this list, try lighting a candle. Try sitting with your legs crossed when you don't have to. Try sitting up. And if you do all these things plus more on a daily basis, drop me a comment in the comment section below because it's time for us to apply that pressure. We are here to inspire each other to be better. And that's what I plan to do in 2023. A new year, a new me. And I want to continue to make different content like this outside of the vlogs and all of that. I want us to be able to have discussions so that we can grow together. Or at least so I can grow because I'm trying to come up. I want to be the best version of me this year and the years to come. So I just want to say I love you. Thank you guys for tuning in. And leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what I can do to be a little bit more feminine. Bye. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. I will never sell myself short because I know you see me on the come up. Big dreams and big drip Talk is cheap, but please damn it